Dear brothers and sisters, we've had a beautiful day. We've had a beautiful set of presentations. And I'd like to suggest to you this evening a kind of quiet prayer in the presence of our Eucharistic Lord. A prayer, first of all, in keeping with the last presentation we heard, a prayer of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for the graces of our creation, for our redemption, for God's covenant love for each one of us and all of us together. And thanksgiving for our families, our community, and thanksgiving for our vocation or vocations plural, for some, and gratitude for the sharing that we've received today. You might want to think about that. Dr. Bersma's presentation, discussion about Philip under the fig tree and how God fulfilled the yearnings of Israel. You might think tonight of Elijah's journey. He was close to death. He wanted to die. God called him to enter into a special relationship with him. And he fed him with simple food. And in the strength of that food, he journeyed 40 days to the mountain of God, to Mount Horeb. We might think of this as the mountain of God. Today we also celebrated a beautiful mystery of the Eucharist, praying for the new evangelization, praying for people like Mary, that Father Charles spoke to us about, who could be won over to God's grace, through the outreach of our love, our care, our lack of judgment, our acceptance. We know of so many people who are hurting. Perhaps in our own hearts there's some hurt ourselves. We lay it before the Eucharistic Lord this evening, asking that he might take it up into his love and to heal the hurt, to give us consolation and peace. I've had the opportunity in the last number of years to attend two Eucharistic Congresses in Quebec in 2008 and in Dublin in 2012, both in situations where people had wandered away from their faith. Quebec and Ireland were great mission-sending countries, and yet people have turned their backs on our Lord. We continue to pray for them. I'd like to leave you at the beginning of this first part of our worship this evening, our contemplation, our quiet prayer, with the prayer of the Eucharistic Congress in Ireland. Lord Jesus, you were sent by the Father to gather together those who are scattered. You came among us doing good, and bringing healing, announcing the word of salvation, and giving the bread which lasts forever. Be our companion on life's pilgrim way. May your Holy Spirit inflame our hearts, enliven our hope, and open our minds so that together with sisters and brothers in faith, we may recognize you in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. May your Holy Spirit transform us into one body and lead us to walk humbly on the earth in justice and in love 
as witnesses of your resurrection. In communion with Mary, whom you gave to us as our mother at the foot of the cross, through you may all praise, honor, and blessing be to the Father, in the Holy Spirit, and in the church, now and forever. Amen.